making the pizza here. Making it with all the toppings and the cheese. What? What are you doing? I'm trying to sell this, man. Trying to make us look authentic. We'll get better tips, you know. There's no way this is authentic Italian pizza. Well, at least I put effort into my work. What are you talking about? You still haven't taken one order to Lord Vader. Yes, I have. That's how I know he hates hand-tossed pizzas. Really? Hand jokes about Vader? What are you doing? Uh, screw you, that's funny. <laughs> Unlike streaming or instant movies that you can get through your smart TVs today, you had a limited time with this. You wanted to savor every possible minute before you had to deliver it back into the dark abyss of the blockbuster drop box. Until next time, my beautiful. Which, honestly, as a kid, was the last best part about renting movies. As a kid, it was your job to deliver it back into the drop box. You never actually knew what happened after sliding it into that silver metal rectangular slot, but you just assumed it was something magical. Something that would help bring that copy into the next child's hands. In reality, though, it was probably just some dude named Dave. Oh, uh, hey, how's it going? Surprisingly, as it may seem, the Death Star does have a space stop store on board. Many of the troopers here are actually pretty big gamers. We have to pass the time somehow, and we're not killing rebel scum. And quite frankly, this is one of the station's biggest form of income. <laughs> we get away with this by selling meaningless game packages for three times what they're worth, then offering chump change to buy back those same games. We can always sell the games back for double what we paid for them. Speaking of which, would you like to sign up for our premium space shop membership? You'll be able to save up for up to five credits a year. Maybe. This is so totally uncool. I shouldn't be here, man. I'm Larry. I'm Larry the Donut Guy. That's who I am. Not Larry the Starway Guy. I take one little break and look what happens. I get dropped down all the way from donuts to sandwiches. <laughs> Yeah, I guess. More than f- Are you crazy? Get out of here. We don't serve your kind. D 
Do you do you charge extra for those? Oh, hey guys, how you doing, eh? Just wanted to let you know I got today's morning donuts. I'll put them in the break room for you. Okay, sounds good. I'll see you guys later. I can't stand that guy. I said I can't stand that guy. He drives me crazy. He's the donut guy now? Him? Really? How could he actually? Well, actually, you know what? I guess I can. Uh, yeah, that, 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 that makes a little sense, I guess. I guess it makes sense that he's the donut guy now. Because we're not looking to get sued, that's why. You're right, though. We should at least rename it something that's a little understandable. Maybe something like Subway. Yeah, you know what? Actually, I kind of like the sound of that. You know what? Actually, I, I think I will. Actually, you know, I'm going to run this pitch by Vader and see what he thinks. <laughs> Oh crap. Yeah, uh, apparently the odd one's out apparently has dibs on Suaboy. Yeah, we're getting sued. Where our pizza will blow you away. Ooh. Can I take your order? Um, I'm sorry, sir. You seem to be fading out a little there. What was your order again? Wait, is this that one death trooper again? Dude, we've told you before. You need to turn off your scrambler if you're going to order through us. <laughs> Hey dude, are you ordering some pizza right now? Don't you lie to me, Death Trooper. You know I have a sixth sense on when someone's ordering pizza. Come on, seriously, man, let's split it. Get the meat lover special. Hey, Larry, is that you? What's up, man? Do you want me to whip up your usual? Oh, absolutely, man. Go ahead and put that order in. You know you can turn that scrambler off, right? It was like seriously the biggest complaint we got on our last video. Yeah, it's what I already tried telling him. Sorry, did you say you wanted the meat lovers special? Here's your order, sir. Hello, sir. Welcome to Space Stop. What can I do for you? Hey, man. How's it going? Yeah, just looking to uh, do a trade-in on this game I bought a while back. No problem. We can do that for you. Anything wrong with it? No, not all. Just looking to probably get something different, you know? Totally understand, my friend. All right. All right. Looks like we can give you six credits for it. Really? That's it? I mean, I can barely buy a four pack of batteries with that. I originally paid 60 credits for it. I mean, you can't do any better than that. I'm sorry. I don't make the prices. That's how much it's worth for a used copy. Well, hold on. Wait, wait, wait a minute now. I can see that you're selling used copies of the same game for 40 credits. Yes, that's right. So clearly it's worth more than just six credits. I mean, couldn't you give me more like 30 or at least even 20 credits to kind of meet me in the middle? I don't know what to tell you, Trooper. That's all we can give you for a used copy. But I'll tell you what, if you want, you can sign up for our Space Shop membership to receive better deals and receive more for trade-ins. Oh, really? Oh, okay, I didn't know that. Yeah, sure, I'll, I'll sign up for a Space Stop membership. All right. It'll cost you 15 credits. Whoa, wait, whoa, whoa. Ho hold on a sec. Wait, so I have to pay for this membership now? How much more will I actually get for my trade-in today if I sign up for this membership? Looks like you'll get about seven and a half credits. What the heck? That's not even a deal, man. I have to pay 15 credits just to get an extra credit and a half back? Well, well, that's just for our basic membership. Well, if you want, you can sign up for our master membership for 30 credits. 30 credits? Okay, well then how much will I get back if I get that membership? Looks like you'll get about eight credits. You will give me 40 credits. What? 
what, what was that? What, what, what was what? The thing you did with your hand. Wait, do you think you're some sort of Jedi waving your hand around like that? This is Space Stop Trooper. Those Jedi tricks don't work on us. Only money. How do you even sleep at night? <laughs> Absolutely. I've even adjusted it so it has a higher firing rate than it did before. Cool. Catch you later. Hello. How oh, can I help? Yeah, listen. I bought this rifle from you a week ago, and it's not working. So I'd like my money back. Oh, well, I'm I'm sorry to hear that. Is, uh, is it just not firing or something? No, it's not working. Well, what seems to be the main problem with it? You know, maybe I can even fix it for you. Well, for starters, it won't hit any of the targets when I shoot it. It misses every time. Okay, well, maybe the sights are just off or something. You know, I would gladly take a look at it for you and I can adjust it to your liking. No, don't bother. I bought this assuming you would have sighted it in already like you're supposed to. But now, I just want my money back. Well, most rifles aren't sighted in when you first get them. You know, every trooper shoots a little differently, so it's always a good idea that uh, right when you get it to take it to the range and calibrate it to the specifics that you prefer. Look, I didn't come here to listen to your excuses. And I guarantee you, I've been aboard the Death Star much longer than you. So why don't you show me a little respect and give me my refund? Okay, that's fine. We can do that. Uh, would you happen to have the receipt? No. I don't have a receipt. Well, in order for me to give you a refund, I would need a receipt so I can process it in the system. I shouldn't need a receipt. Can't you just look me up in your system or something? I suppose I could scan your Trooper ID card and see your previous purchases. Could I see your Trooper ID card? What? Why do you need my ID? I've been coming here for years, so you should already know who I am and give me my refund. Ma'am? This place has only been open for six months now, and without a receipt or an ID, I can't take back the blaster for a refund. And honestly, the blaster probably isn't even the problem. Maybe you're just a terrible shot. And if you don't come down, I'm gonna have to ask you to leave. Are you threatening me? Yeah, so I'm here at the blaster shop where this employee was just physically threatening me. You're being recorded, by the way. Ma'am, please calm down. If you could just simply show me your ID, I can get started on your refund. I want to see your manager. Ma'am, if we could just... I said I want to see your manager. <sighs> okay. Uh, hey, boss, could you uh, come up front real quick? I uh, need your help. What seems to be the problem? Sir, I came in here simply to get a refund for this rifle I bought last week. That doesn't even work. Then your employee physically threatened me after refusing to give me my refund. And just so you know, this is all being recorded, and I have over 200 followers on my social media page. If you want to keep me from sharing this to all of them, you'll give me my refund and then give me a free blaster for all the trouble I've had to go through today. Anyway. Well, at least she's wearing a mask. Well, I mean, she was wearing a mask. Welcome to Burger Empire. What order will you have? <laughs> Made good choice you have. Order 66 with extra pickles, extra bacon, and cola cola large. <laughs>
suffering. Do or do not. There is no try. Patience you must have. Clear your mind must you be. <laughs> Oh, my God.